Marriage is an informed decision. Families come together. You do the best you can to understand if this is a good decision for you. And it's like any other decision. All the other decisions are your responsibility. Marriage, qadar of Allah. Where did you get this idea from? <laughs> Make an informed decision. Learn about the person you're trying to marry. Understand if you have a personality that will work with each other. And even after all the exploration and conversation, sometimes you know what happens? You can't escape drama. Sometimes drama happens anyway. Nuh ended up with a pretty interesting wife. Asiya radiallahu anha entered, ended up with a Fir'aun for a husband. Don't raise your hand. Your husband's not Fir'aun. Calm down. Sometimes people change. Sometimes the person you married later on, they're not the same as they used to be. Maybe the way they feel has changed. Maybe life has changed you. Maybe experiences have changed you. Don't blame that on the qadr of Allah. That's not the qadr of Allah. That's, that's life. Life happens. The one thing I will tell you about marriage that people don't pay attention to. I want to marry her because I love her. Shut up. I want to marry him for deen. You're not marrying a beard. You're marrying a human. <laughs> Just because someone is practicing their deen does not make them a good person in every other way. There are plenty of people that have an anger problem and they go to hajj every year. But they still have an anger problem. Allah mentioned one thing about marriage that is on top. Number one, everything else is later. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا He said he, gave, he made you into spouses for the purpose that you could find peace. Number one is peace. That means when you love someone, sometimes you, love, you can love someone without respecting them. You can love someone without being honest to them. You can love someone without caring for them properly. You can love someone but hate their family. And all of these things, you know what they do? They take away the peace. So even if love is there, peace is not there. And when peace is not there, the purpose of the marriage is gone. The purpose is not love. That comes from Allah. The purpose is not care, rahma. That comes from Allah. You, your purpose is to find peace. So when you're looking for a spouse, you're asking yourself, what is it that makes me peaceful? What is it that gives me calm? My wife, my husband, they should be my calm. When I talk to them, my stress goes down. Because all the storms in my life, my spouse gets rid of them. That's the kind of person I want to marry. Now, if you're talking to someone and already there's drama, there's already a temper, temper problem, there's already attitude, there's already difficulty in communication and you're ignoring it because you love him too much, then you're not going to have peace later. And young men and women, when you get married, the most important conversation is going to be, what gives you peace? Tell me. How can I give you that peace? And what gives you peace? How can I give you that peace? So you can give each other peace. You give each other sakina. Young men, university students, right? Stay out of trouble. Stay in good company. <laughs> Stay purposeful. Young women, when you're learning in university and college, stop having anxiety. Who's going to marry me? When am I going to get married? When is the qadr of Allah going to come? Stop. Last thing. When you live a purposeful life, then good people of purpose will come in your life. You won't have to look for that spouse. That spouse will look for you. You have to just become purposeful.